Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and today I have a tutorial for one of the secret features that was just sneakily introduced in the latest update for Minecraft Xbox One. So I downloaded the update this morning because I figured it was just for the festive mashup pack. I played around with that for a while, it's quite a fun thing. And while playing around with one of my worlds, what I realised is that there's actually a sneaky feature that we've all been waiting for for a while that was just put in this update without any of us realising. And I checked Twitter and no one else had found out about it. So basically, the feature that I'm talking about is the ability to expand your world size beyond its original limit. Because uh, right now, if if you convert a world over to Xbox One, or you start a uh, classic world, also this will be coming to PS4 soon, but uh, yeah, if you convert a world over, what will actually happen is you get stuck with your old limits. So even though the Xbox One can run a 5000 by 5000 world, your old worlds are still stuck right here at 864 by 864 However, this new update increases the limit and allows you to expand the world wherever you want it to be. So this is a tutorial on how to do that, and if you like the video, please do like it if you're excited about this, and subscribe if you want to see the latest kind of like secret features, because I like playing around with updates and finding this sort of stuff. And um, we've got Title Update 19 coming soon, so with that said and out of the way, uh, let's quickly show you how you do this. So once you convert a world over to the Xbox One, you retrieve it or whatever, like that, except you don't, and then you go into the world once. You have to actually go into the world for this to work, and then what happens is when you go into more options, it will give you the increased world size option. So uh, a quick thing to note here is you can increase the world to whichever size you want. However, once you convert to a size, you can't go back. So you can't decide, I want a large, then decide, you know what, this isn't for me, I'm going to go back. You're stuck with whatever world size you go to. So you can go to small, then to medium, then to large, but you can't go from medium to small or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, you can pick your world size here. I'm going to pick small. And there's also a second option here, which is overwrite world edges. So what this does is it takes the last 32 tiles around your world. So, you know, the edge 64, I guess, on each side and, uh, you know, 32 in each direction. And basically what that will do is it will convert those tiles into brand new tiles. So if you have important buildings right at the edge, like I have a big wall around my world, uh, don't click the box. However, if you don't have anything around the edges, it's a fairly new world or it's mainly in the middle, then you can tick that box and it will look smoother. So here's me uh, clicking the box so you can see it will look exactly smooth. Uh, this is a super flat world, so it's not exactly exciting. I'll show you a real world in a bit. But as you can see, as you load up the world, it quickly converts while you're loading, which is quite impressive. And uh, you know the limit that was there before? Not there anymore. And now what I can do is I can fly all the way up here into the corner and uh, I can go into the new world size, which is 512 by 512. So if I wanted to, I could go out, I could convert it again. But you get the point here. As you can see, the world is now significantly bigger. Uh, I don't believe the, com uh, the never converts until you reset than ever, so just bear that in mind. Okay, so next thing we've got to bear in mind is let's go out here and let's show you what happens when you don't tick the, uh, you know, the world border box, because although it might seem like I don't want my world deleted, it does kind of look a little funny if you don't do so. So here's my uh, regular world. It's made from the festive mashup pack. Uh, let's go in with creative and let's quickly expand the world. Uh, actually, uh, you can see right now I'm at the border in that little picture in the top left there. Uh, let's expand the world to small, but let's not overwrite the world edges. So this is what the world will look like if you do that. So let's just go in here and do the same thing. Uh, as you can see, it takes a tiny bit longer to load, but not much. It's really impressive how it does it all during the loading screen, in my opinion. Uh, and once you do that, what will actually happen is the world should... <laughs> as soon as it's loaded, that is. It should be increased. So here you can see, this is where the world used to be. Uh, this is the old limit of the world, uh, just over here or in this corner. You, you can see clearly on the map. Uh, what actually happens is the old border still stays there. So around the edges here, you can see where it's, you know, just the ocean around your map. However, it starts generating straight from there. And you get this really cool kind of moat effect around your world. And it looks, it, it's you know, it's kind of weird, but it's also really cool because, <laughs> I don't know, like it's kind of like a chunk boundary thing. I, I really like this feature. It means that you can slowly expand your world as you go if you want to. So you can pick a classic world, then expand to small as you go there and do stuff like that. It also means that if you have a world that you want to save room for new biomes, you can just expand to a medium, then go to a large once a new update comes out, for instance. There are so many possibilities, and it's a cool feature that I'm excited about. Also, you can actually go into caves that are directly connected here. <laughs> I think that's quite cool. So, as you can see, it does look quite weird if you don't overwrite the world edges, but if you have buildings here, it's kind of something you have to do. <laughs> I'm a big fan of how this looks. So, yeah, this is the new expand world size option. It's one I've been waiting for for a while, and I'm really excited about now it's here. So, uh, yeah, Hopefully you enjoy this feature. Let me know if you're going to use it or if you don't really care about your world size in the comments down below or what world size you're going to expand to. You can just go to small, to medium, to, uh, to large. Let me know in the comments down below. So like it if you liked it, share it if you really liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.